Hello guys and welcome again to episode 3 of Building Westfield. Um, in the last episode we took care about some of the farming industries here. We expanded our residential zones to over there. We put in some necessary um, things that people required us to have. I put in some low lower quality housing zones as well i haven't upgraded these roads on purpose because those are as you can see the more developed more well i would say wealthy because that's way too soon for that game but a little bit more developed zones residential zones here over there there are the smaller houses, but I still need some factory workers working over here in that zone and in the other zone here. Um, since I was able to get these um, highways and bigger roads now, I extended my road up to the end of this map. Um, I have a couple of fields here. Yeah, and so far I'm doing pretty well. I have a good income, a weekly income is, is quite okay. And now it's about fulfilling the demand of the residential zones. Um, when you have a look at this square, there are a couple of thoughts that I had on my mind when I started building um, my, my town here. As you can see, this is all like an area for farmland. So I don't want to waste this. I will need it for a later stage. Definitely this industrial zone has to go um, in a while. And I have a huge forest here that I don't want to waste either. So I want to stick to the yeah possibilities of the landscape as well as possible. Um, so for now... Of course, I could start extending my residential zones to over here and a little bit over there. But, yeah, to be honest, I don't really like this thought. Um, so, for this episode, I think I might purchase, or not only I might, but I will purchase one or even two of the... Yeah nearby squares um, to extend my residential zones a bit further. Um, currently yeah I was just thinking whether it would make sense to have a high value residential zone over here which would be actually nice or if I should try and get, as you can see, there is a train line coming in. And I will need this train uh, to transport away all the, all the goods. But for now, I think since I have such a high demand for residential zones, I will go first for this one here. Um, before I'm actually caring about my farming industries a, a bit more mm. yeah so for now I'm considering to purchase this one here I'm just gonna do it the next one's gonna be a bit more expensive than the first one um, yeah so uh, I already did that and now I'm trying to expand my residential zones to that area. Um, a good place to start with, well I have to think about it because I will need um, some types, some some kind of road to this area down here, <sighs> which will also mean sooner or later that I will have to upgrade that part of the road as well so let me think about it whether I can have 
some of these rural oh, this is a highway and national road is it a well, national road would be nice definitely so yeah let me quickly start here i'm not following the, the grid any longer because this is the countryside here i want to keep it as natural as possible and as realistic as possible do because I don't like the look of it is changing this a little bit and smoothening things a bit further yeah and unfortunately I guess I guess I have to is it a I think it's more likely that type of road can it upgrade oh yeah of course you can't <laughs> so I have to add this in space already occupied mm. ok let's go for the smaller version first and then change to a bigger version afterwards I think this is actually at the moment the best option. That I have and mm, yeah before starting this game I think I need another water source over here. I don't want to supply this pump with a nice... I won't be able to build any residential zones in that circle. I don't want to do it because it's too noisy. Yeah, but still, I, I can't risk it. It has to be realistic and when I have it realisti as realistic as possible. And for now what I do not like is actually this piece of road here and then we are going for the national road again and set up do we want to have a roundabout yes I guess we want to have a roundabout at some stage at least maybe more like over here and then we are taking care of the height because it's a, a bit above what it should be now let's below Yeah, there will always be kind of a, a slope that I have to live with. Yeah, but that looks pretty natural now. That's good. Yeah, so we are good to go. Um, I think... Yeah, I'm going to set up one roundabout here. A bigger one because we do not know yet what kind of traffic will be coming in. So we have a 
bit of a curved roundabout now, like a oval, oval roundabout. Why not? It gives more space to the cars and the incoming traffic, but it doesn't consume as much as the regular roundabout so this is good to go i want to start with that here upgrade the road here good now we have to think about adding i actually do not like really like the position of this here that much but yeah it is now what it is and I'll care about the rest in a while in a while yeah let's use that one Again, I'm making sure that I can have some commercial zones. Um, then I guess I still can't use yeah, we can't use that yet. And from there, we extend with more rural roads. And we use the free form. Thing for now to go around here. Ah, I didn't want to have a bridge here. No, that makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. That doesn't make any sense. It always looks like as if um, it's possible to have... Yeah, let's make it make it like that and play safe here okay here one cola sack another cola sack this a huge park area or a bigger park area which makes totally sense um, as this is going to be a really nice spot here and yeah to yeah, I think I care about the water lines later and for now I want to give businesses the opportunity to settle down here but definitely not there to settle down here and here and we want to have some other business here and there as well 
that looks good. Maybe some minor business is here. Again, not this. Then I'm gonna put in some residential zones. I can quickly zone this whole area. That makes sense. I think I got everything. Um, I put down one police department over here. I put down another fire department over there. I want to have one school like over here. And then before I'm wasting all the rest of my money, which is something I don't want to do, um, I'm quickly going to lay out my water supplies for this city and little area, little new district of Westfield. So let me quickly finish that. Again, um, I'm always trying to stick to the existing road and I'm using these as my guidance for laying out the water pipes. Um, because I'm always trying to take into consideration what a existing and realistic city would do and I think they would all or I know they would all lay out their water pipes um, below existing roads because for them it's easier to access it later. So let's keep the game running and let's see what happens. So people are quickly moving in here. Wow, wow, wow. That's going faster than I expected. Way faster than I expected. I'm earning good, a good bunch of money. People are keeping... are moving in, which is really nice. And maybe if this gets a traffic hotspot... Oh, 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 oh. The wastewater. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to have a second one. At least not here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. So there is no other way than building or setting up my wastewater. Um, other than, yeah. Yeah, I have to connect both uh, those two networks. It doesn't make any sense not to do it. Because um, the thing is, um, if I'm putting down another wastewater here, I will literally waste my water resources from the first location of Westfield. Like this main or old town that already exists. So I'm following the road here. Again, to keep things realistic. Ah, shoot, I don't have enough money. Again. <laughs> Uh, let's earn a couple of hundred bucks now. Yes, maybe that's enough. 180 and... Oh, we get to go. I don't know. Yes, we are. We are able to connect everything now. Good. 
so we won't have any wastewater problems over here any longer this sounds good so money keeps coming in people keep coming in it's looking nice really really nice so I'm using this area to extend my um, population there is a higher demand of commercial zones so maybe I have to think about that soon in a while uh, let's see what happens and there's one other thing I have to consider that's the reason why I'm stopping the game for now again which is my industrial zone oh sorry my industrial areas so here we can get wood here we can get wood let's see what happens we own that square and this square this is definitely farmland what is this this could be ore okay I care about that later but that wooden area Ah, oh, come on no I feel so bad I feel so bad uh, and over here is some ore that I can get yeah but at least I don't have to worry about that area here which is which is okay ish um, here I also can get some wood over here it's a bit more dense but that's fine so maybe I'm using this little strip here for my forestry industries my forest industries that would possibly make sense yeah but for now I just leave it as is and I already put in um some more roads without zoning them out was even right and I just didn't see it okay good to go give it some water lines I can take care about the zoning later I don't want to use that space yet I think this should be enough this, this is enough for now at least you would not do it like that but I already explained I want to keep it as realistic as possible that's why I'm using it um, or, or I'm taking care of my water lines like that even though from a gaming perspective it, it, well it wouldn't really make sense uh, to use that much um, water pipes that many water pipes I'm sorry 
Um, because, yeah, it would have been easier to just um, lay a grid below things. A grid below the whole area and then you're good to go and ev everyone's supported and everyone's happy. Um, yeah, shoot. Okay. I have to move it later. Uh, I can't. Okay, no worry. <laughs> it's like that. Continue. So this would be all supported by water already. So now let's wait and see what happens. If the commercial demand declines a little bit, we have to see what happens. Yeah, people are moving in again. We're having a good bunch of income. Good income over here. So maybe we can go back to our little farming area and set up or think about a few more crop fields. Mm. Yeah, I think I can use it. And maybe even one more cattle thing. But I guess, I guess flour mill bakery. Oh, this is important. Cattle shed, small barn. So this is now really getting important here. Um, taking care of the industries. Um, I'm waiting for a bit more income. Like this says, corn. I want to have some wheat. This is cotton. I need some more wheat here. And I want to have, okay, oranges is good. And I want to have one greenhouse here. Whatever this is for, I don't know. But it doesn't look bad. Um, so, as you saw with the next development of my city. Um, I do have the option now to um, to add a cattle shed, a flour mill, but I want to start with the flour mill first. And this should be located does it make sense to locate it here? Yeah, why not? I want to have it located there. Okay, I'm wondering. Uh, crops. Does it need... Okay, maybe it needs to be connected. Maybe it needs to be connected somehow. Yeah, I have to pay this cost, unfortunately. And I also want to have a cattle shed. At a later stage. Sorry, uh, for not making a too quick decision. Can I build it? Not yet. Yeah, soon, soon I can. Oh, come on, what, what should I do? Maybe not yet. We're not yet building it. But now we have a small barn.
Um, yeah. So next to my farmhouse. This looks very, very nice, I think. And the other thing I want to have is like a worker's... Um, worker's quarters. Yeah. It's looking good too. So there we will have some traffic soon. Um, but for now I think we are good. We are good to go from here. The income is good. There are not a lot more people coming in at the moment. Yeah, but the town is growing. The houses are growing. Even that district, you can see how much it improved already. Oh, and they don't have enough power. They don't have enough power. This is another thing that bothers me really a lot. 20 megabits out of city limits. Is it worth it? Upkeep 200. It produces 40 and asks me for So this is my river. Let me see. This is my river. Over here, 19, 18, 18. Maybe I should put down one here. So now you might ask how are you connecting this to this here and I think this should be enough let's check and see Yeah, now everyone is supplied with. <laughs> no, <laughs> not enough. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, no. That wasn't the plan. That was not the plan. Still not enough here. Uh, yeah, okay, now we are connected. Now we are connected again. Okay, it's looking way better. Way better now than before. And the income, have a look at that. This is something I really like. I really like this. Um, it's over there. We could use 18 or 17 megawatts. Hmm. Mm, yeah, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what happens. Um, I don't want to decide on that yet. So we're having a look at our new district here. And as you can see, residential demand, commercial demand, uh, demand and industrial demand is really high by now. Um, so, what do we have to do? We expanded our area here. We have a warehouse set here. Storage mode balanced, makes sense. This here is balanced as well. 
this here is balanced. We have outgoing flower, which is really nice. Yeah, so this is being exported, isn't it? Okay, there. Uh, is this exported actually? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Well, currently maybe not, but let's give it some time. And rega regarding the industrial zonings here. Ah, I don't want to play too much with industry. So let's have a look. I want to add some policies for now. <laughs> Let me see. Recycling plastic is good. Schools out. Mm -mm -mm. Recycling is good. Smoke detected distribution is good water and power usage let's see how much i have to pay for that whoa okay that's a lot water and power usage Oof. okay no <laughs> i think the worst one was was really the recycling thingy which is something that worries me a bit smoke detectors water usage uh, power usage yeah I'll stick to these for now I want to have some clean industries, please. Ah, come on, I can't use these yet. City planning. I'm not, not too well progressed so far. I haven't progressed enough. Um, so traffic is doing good. Maybe I set up. Yeah, this is something I wanted to do actually. I wanted to set up a new bus line. Because those people live in here. They should be able to. get to other places on the map and I want them to use the buses as much as possible Yeah, now they are going back to you. over there. The line is completed. I'm curious how many people will actually use it. But I think people will consider it in the near future anyway. The demand for industry. The demand for industry is something I definitely have to care about. Um oh this road is bothering me. So what you may want to do after a, a while is when you're working with the traffic manager it allows you to actually prohibit parking at certain areas and I 
recommend you to not allow parking on main streets because it slows down the traffic significantly and you shouldn't allow parking right next to crossings if you can afford it as soon as possible because that as well slows down your traffic significantly so I won't allow parking here, here, there, there and there is by the way there are a couple of nice mods out there um, that give you the option to set up parking areas, parking um, lots. So now I have city planning policies. Sorry for jumping back and forth. Um, new policies are free public transportation. This is nice. Um, the old town combustion engine uh, this would be for electric cars heavy traffic ban is not important for me as well the workers union uh, filter industrial waste this could be interesting actually new roads okay ah there are my boardwalks and pedestrian zones this is something i definitely like then i have a hospital the bigger one jet ski rental bus station there is a bus station a bigger one as well mm, yeah i think noodle restaurant small office building office building blah 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 so for now we're good okay we're good to go for now so we prohibited parking um, on a couple of spots just to make sure that people are not parking weirdly all around everywhere and for here besides the issue with the electricity again we also have the issue that we need a recycling center and now maybe 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 no we don't have it yet so we can't yet use um, the because there is one recycling center uh, that I personally prefer um, it produces less waste than the others okay I just have to add one of yeah a road to down there because it's always good to have recycling centers for nearly every every district I would like to say um, you will see it soon because this recycling center will basically cover everything over there you can see a lot of cars are coming in here that want to pick up the trash but they usually take way too long to get there um, so it doesn't really help me a lot Can we add in? Yes, we can. Okay, so now we're good to go again. I guess. Yeah. Mm, mm, okay. The problem with the electricity vanished, and soon there you can see these are the biofuel garbage trucks. They are already on their way to take care 
of this waste problem here. Just quickly saw that the waste water thing was popping up again. And there it is again, but why? Why is it actually again there? I have to take a look at the. Yeah, maybe I just have to add another one. Or. So, yeah, we have to care about this wastewater thingy, definitely. Um, I want to change my pipes layout here a little bit to a different setup. While the game is paused, which is really not sure that we are following the roads again. Um, maybe like this here. I'm just wondering the wastewater is that much utilized already operating normal operating normal um probably what i'm trying to do is i raise the funds for the wastewater thing Maybe that helps already um, with my layout here, with my city. And I definitely, let's see, so waste is being managed, waste water is being managed very good. Okay, this already helped. That kind of pollution is ooh, not so good. I don't like it. Um, people keep moving in here, the houses are upgrading slowly, so maybe I need some kind of industries. Ah, where should I put these? Where should I put these? So the natural thing would be as a next step. Let me pause it here. Um, so the natural thing for me would be to stick to my plan. Um, I should try mm, to expand to this area here and maybe use this as a whole industrial area but I would definitely destroy some of these woods here and this is something I don't do not really want to do um, so I set these to mm, let me see what I can do for the moment This is my industrial park, pine industrial area, not for oil, not for, let's set this to generic, I don't really have to. trying to do one thing because we have a high demand in commercial zones as well let me think about 
the following. Just let me think about the following. So what I'm considering to do now as a very quick first step to get rid of some of the problems I have, at least with the commercial zonings, I want to have this here set up uh, not as a park but as a commercial zone Cedar District, so what does it allow me to do? Like organic food production. Organic food production. We'll try it. We'll see what happen happens. Um, let me check, so water is there, there should be enough, um, This doesn't work because I don't have enough um, fertile areas here. Um, so I want to set this to a non commercial specialization and then let's see what happens next. If that changes anything. Yeah, it does change something, at least. Okay, doesn't make sense. I want to leave it as, as non-commercial specialization, because I think for this here, I again need something of that organic part here um, that fertile area here to be used as a organic business thingy I could of course I could do something over there but I don't want to do that right now I don't want to do that right now So the farm is doing good. I'm earning a bunch of money every every week, which is good. The city is doing good, and I think this one is growing as well. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I love it. And regarding that area, maybe I could. No, I don't. I want to use it as residential. It doesn't really help. <laughs> it doesn't help. I can't change it. I don't want to change it. However, um, so yeah. Here, I would like to stop with um, this.
third episode of Building Westfield. Um, thank you again for joining in. Thanks again for watching this episode. I would be really happy if you would either subscribe to my channel, give me a like, leave me a comment, whatever you want to do. Um, if there's something I can help you with regarding City Skylines, let me know and I'll be there for you. Have a good day, enjoy your day, and thanks. Bye bye.